so if you've been around the internet for a while, you probably know that a new Pokemon game released recently. Also, if you're a fan of Pokemon, you probably know what a Nuzlocke is. Good, that saves me from explaining a few things. Well, in my boundless masochism and desire for validation through trial by fire, I decided to combine these two things. No way this could possibly go wrong. Anyway, there's a laundry list of rules that you can probably see on your screen right now to give you a rough idea of how I plan to do this. Oh, by the way, I should also probably let you know that I've kept myself as in the dark about this game as I possibly can. I know a few things, but most of the stuff that I find out about this I'm going to be learning in the moment. So if you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe to my channel to please the algorithm gods. And also, if you want to join us live, uh, come check out my Twitch, linked in the description below. With all that being said, what's up all you beautiful gamers? I'm ShiningWingX, and this is my Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. Uh, characters actually look like they might be a little bit older in this game. Let's go with this guy. I kind of like him. Gonna name ourselves Shining, because me, of course. And... Let's go. Oh, what? We have character customization already. We could give ourselves a Karen cut. I don't look like a Pompadour. That is a weak Pompadour. Come on, game. Give me that dude from Shaman King. That's a Pompadour. Yeah, let's go with this one. That's a little bit different than what I usually go with when it comes to hairstyles. All right, let's see. Blue, gr the blue gray looks cool. Oh, 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 oh. I can, uh, I, I can become a straight up demon. Oh my God, <laughs> chat. Do I go for the acid trip eyes? Because I kind of want to go for the acid trip eyes. I won't even need to actually undergo the process of a Pokemon battle. All the opposing trainer will have to do is look into my eyes and they will just die immediately. We're going with this. Whatever this unholy creature that I spawned is, that's what we're going for. Paldea is a sprawling region, bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes, and soon to be the place where many, many gravestones can be found. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokémon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Probably significantly less whenever I'm done with them. There's, oh my god, that is a regional Tauros. That is a regional Tauros. Okay, I did not know that that one actually existed. I heard rumors of a regional Tauros. I did not actually know that it was a thing. Hello there, Coridon. Am I gonna get to fly on you immediately? That'd be sick. Dim's a lot of Tauros, because I kind of want one. I feel like it'd be a dark type but I base that on color alone. What are those? What are those? There we go. That should work. What are you? That's not a regional chat tot, is it? It doesn't look like. It, no, it doesn't, that doesn't look like a chat tot. I'm done with this homework, fuck this shit. <laughs> Me and my me and my soul sucking eyes are going elsewhere. Are you our pet, or are you stealing food from us? I don't know. Wow, my house looks sick. Holy shit, the protagonist actually gets a good house. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. Okay. Subway. Um. Um, excuse me? <laughs> uh, oh, there it goes! Uh, okay, I think I see a little bit of the performance issues. <laughs> My camera was stuck for a little bit. Okay, I definitely did not get my demon eyes from my mother. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Shining, get the door, would you? Uh, is the camera gonna let me? Only walk into the front. Oh, okay. Do forgive the intrusion. Just letting yourself in, are ya? Okay. Let's grab my hat and my bag. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to get some- Oh my god! 
every time my character looks at the camera. Oh. Oh, gracious. How very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Master Shining. A most important thing. Starter? But you're living... It's starters. 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 Show me the starters. Show me the starters. Love that he's, like, got a whole belt of Premier Balls. Yep, we getting our starters already. Let's fucking go! We provide each student entering the Academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Ah, He's so cute. Foycoco, the fire croc Pokemon. Ah, He's so derpy. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Aww, he has hair. Y you're not gonna take back the ones that I don't choose? Can I just have all of them then? Can I run? Like, when do I get my running shoes? Cabo Poco. Oh! Oh, now it's letting me run. Okay, I just gotta, I, I just gotta walk forward a little bit and then, oh, I actually know how to do this. Are you these three's trainer? Hey, it's Nimona! Not quite. Master Shining has yet to make his choice, you see. I do wonder which of them he will choose as his first Pokemon. Okay, apparently, uh... <laughs> Quaxley's just like, really, bro? Here's what we're gonna be doing. Oh my god, Breadman. Dude. Dude, why? Okay, so, this is how it usually works for a Nuzlocke. Uh, <laughs> Breadman is really calling for me to pick the duck. I'm gonna roll this d20 right here. A 1 to 6 will be Sprigatito. 7 to 12 is Quaxley. 13 to 18 is Fuecoco. And 19 or 20 I roll again. So let's see what we get. And that's an 11. That means that's Quaxley. You chose Quaxley. Would you like to give Quaxley a nickname? Yes, I shall. Quaxley, henceforth, you shall be known as Jeff. Welcome to the team. He just sits. He just sits. He hovers in the air. It doesn't even look like he's sitting on my arm. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? I thought you already had one, Nimona. Okay, so we're still with this we're still with the rivals that choose the starter that's weak to you. Type water, Terra type water. Okay, so you're not actually a flying type yet. Okay, good to know. So, you ready to battle me, Shining? I am indeed. Let's do this, Nimona. Come on, Shining. Let's have us a fruitful battle. <laughs> because Fuecoco looks like a fruit. I love the battle cut in. Go, Jeff! These eyes and this duck are going to spell your doom. Water gun! Wait, Coco used tackle? Does nothing. Water gun again. Down goes a little cherry tomato. I mean, if she's gonna go with Fuecoco again, I, I will gladly take the free experience. Just saying. Boink. The Pokedex app was added here. Oh, shit. Nothing with like, nothing with like any professor or anything. The Pokedex is just like standard at this point. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Oh, we can sneak. Oh, what? Was that a slide? Oh, I can straight up drift. That's kind of sick. Oh, my Quaxly. Oh, Je Jeff is actually a theme. That's rare. Whoa. I just realized. Jeff is a female. I think it's like a 12.5% chance to get a female starter. Otherwise, they're male. So, I actually got myself a little bit of a rarity with this, with this little girl. Okay. What are those? What are those little? I I know about Lechonk. What are what is those things in the background? Those those uh three back there. I'm going to say that this does not count as my encounter, since it's forcing me to you to do this. Yeah, there we go. Nice quick catch animation. 
So the Nuzlocke has officially started. We're going to look around and try to see what we can find. Oh, they're hanging from the they're hanging from the trees. It's Hopip. A Jumpluff would be a nice Pokemon. That would be a safe bet because I know that one. Of the ones that I've seen, I kind of want to go for that one. <gasps> uh, never mind. I guess we're going for a Palmy. One, two, three. Okay, we got the we got the Pika clone. I guess we'll we'll go for we'll go with that. Why not? It's a new Pokemon anyway. I'm happy with that. We'll go with Pika clone. Pika clone has been added to your party. Let's go. But level eight. Item up here. Oh oh what? Hello. Hi cutscene. Let me see. So far you've caught. Gogyo! I think we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Shining. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so ste steer clear. That's probably where it is. Another potion. Let's go. Uh, what all is around here? Oh, n oh I could have got a Fletchling. Oh, that sucks. I could have had a Fletchling. Fletchling is one of my favorite early root birds. Talonflame is badass. Oh, I would have liked to have got that. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's... Oh, hi. Hi, Lechonk. I guess we're fighting. You just made some tea with honey. Ooh. I like tea with honey myself. What? Grr? Is it Karidon? Oh, it is Karidon. Oh, it looks like it's getting bullied by Houndour. <laughs> Angry Durgan. Oh, God. Uh, well, that's the run, guys. We're dead. Apparently, we're not dead. Apparently, my phone can handle my weight. You okay, buddy? Are you hungry or something? Here you go. Look at my- look at my soul-sucking eyes. You can trust me, I promise. Chomp. Nom. 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 Well, see ya. <laughs> I just ate your lunch. Eh, see ya. Okay. What in the world? Yeet! Uh... What did you just do? Oh, it grew a wheel! A wheel! Rawr. Come with me if you want to live. Uh, oh, or never mind. Or, uh, I'm just gonna, just don't, okay, don't follow me then. Uh, okay, you're just gonna, just gonna leave me here on this, uh, this random beach in the middle of nowhere. No food. This is, this is where my story ends. Inlet Grotto. I'm guessing it's... You've just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you're close, if you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with what one of my Pokemon's moves. Okay, I'm still not able to bring up my menu, but I'm able to... I'm gonna grab these items. Oh, here comes the Hound Hour Squad. They can't. They went and ca got. They went and grabbed their friends. Oh shit! It's actually not weak anymore. Good thing we picked Quaxley though. Behind you! It's behind you! Oh shit! It's a Hound Doom. 
Oh god! Oh my god, it's level 40? What? Uh You can't find an opening to swap Pokemon. Uh let me try to catch it. Your hands are trembling so badly you can't pull items out of your Oh no. Uh Run? There's no way you could run from this opponent. Oh my god! Uh, yeet. <laughs> yeah, my, my, <laughs> my Pommy was just like, yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. My dude just sucker punched that hound doom. Uh oh. Oh shit, there's a lot of hound hour. Come with me if you want to live. This time for real. Hey! Up here, quick! Leap! <laughs> Rawr. And now it's sleep. Right now we're here. Oh, it's this dude. Why, that little... What are you doing out here? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is real issue here is what in the world is world this Pokemon is doing out here and what is with this form it's in the form Coridon takes in battle that's its true form Coridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command it's special you think you're up to ordering Coridon around then how about I test your worthiness uh sure oh god we're actually fighting him what do you have? What do you have? Squub it? Okay. What, what, how, what level are you going to be? These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone! Okay, it's only level 5. It's only level 5. We can handle this. Okay, I'm going to go I'm gonna go ahead and use Quick Attack just in the event of a speed tie, and finish this. Let's go! If you really think you can take Coridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. Oh, but, oh, right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show, y show you the view of our school. That's Mesa Goza. Mesa Goza. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. Holy crap, we're going to Hogwarts! So let's see what we have waiting for. Ha 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 ha! The Scatterbug was just waiting to say hi. A new label. Okay, South Province Area 1. This is a new route. Then. Okay, I can walk through here. Oh, there's a... Oh, I'm glad that I decided to come up here. That right there is a that right there is a field TM. Give me that. Endure. Okay. Ralts. Okay, I'm sold. I'll catch a Ralts. Um, this sounds like some freaking Persona 5 shit right now. Please, please. Please, please, please. B B B B B B B B B B B B B Yes! We got ourselves a Ralts. Awesome. Sweet. Aw, oh, Jesh. You really helped us out here. Welcome to the team, Saria. 
Hello, child. Fight me. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. I would like to know the secret. Good job, Jeff. You did good, buddy. Here's a secret. Pokemon Centers will heal all your Pokemon for free! Awesome! I had no idea! Oh, yay! Shining! Over here! And this to my right is the Technical Machine Machine. <laughs> TM Machine. Technical Machine Machine. Yes, I knew about this feature. You can actually craft TMs in this game. I feel like that's gonna be busted. Protect. I'm gonna want that. All right. We're going to take one Psybeam, one Protect, because that's a good way to shut down my opponents if I need. Boom. That was a bit stronger. Jeff wants to learn the move Wing Attack. Yes! Yes, please, give me that. What are you? I have not seen you. Shrewdle? <laughs> what the hell is this thing? All right, Jeff, you're probably a safe bet being level 10. I don't trust keeping, oh my God, my character just like did a 360. Okay, so your text is in yellow. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles? Well, good news. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, you've defeated three trainers here in Area 1. Okay. Once you defeat four trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. Okay, and I think I see the fourth trainer right over there. Ah! <laughs> Good job, Saria. All right, whatever it is, hand it over. you defeated four trainers. On behalf of the Pokemon League, here's your lovely prize. Thunder Wave. That's fine. <clears throat> Hi, Nimona. Took you long enough. I've just been dicking around. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me how much you have learned in a battle? Uh-oh. Seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Okay. Round! Not what I expected, and ow, that actually did kind of hurt. Okay, water gun. We still two shot. Down goes the Flacoco. All that she started with the starter. Okay, now I know that this thing is only going to... Okay, it has static. Confusion! That only use a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. What's it gonna do? Oh, whoa, whoa, what, what, when, where, why, huh? Oh shit, is she terastalizing it? Oh god. Oh, please don't kill Saria. Please don't kill Saria. I didn't know that it was. I didn't know that it was gonna throw this at me yet. Rastalizing is always a solid strategy. It gives moves, Terra type more power. Thundershock. Oh no. No 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 no. <gasps> oh my god! Clone. We're switching to Pika clone. Oh my god! Please tell me that doesn't last forever. I don't think I can handle this if that lasts forever. My starter is a goddamn water type, and I don't have anything to use against this. Okay, it resisted. Okay, good. Yeah, heal stalling is my only way out of this. I hate doing that, but if it's what I gotta do, it's what I gotta do. I don't know if quick attack kills. That's really close. I feel like quick attack would kill from that range, but I'm still scared to do it. Quick attack. Oh, thank God. Oh my god, we almost lost Saria already. 
I oh whoa wowie oh god <laughs> Okay I can I see where this game stands it does not pull punches Okay good That's actually kinda good I, I'm I'm here for the challenge Holy crap this place is big I mean I knew it would be from the trailers but I wasn't expecting it to be this big Stylish hat. Hat! Oh, I can get one of these, like, little newsboy caps. Let's go with the black leather, sure. How do I change my clothes? Pants? Welcome to Rough and Tough. What do you got? Gloves. Oh, the kind of glasses that I wear. Okay. Well, it's still not pants, though. <laughs> All I want to find is pants! Where's the Delibird place? Nimona mentioned that. Okay, this has got to be it, right? Delibird presents, okay. Uh, let's see battle items. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I can- ooh, hang on. Not him to be held by a Pokemon, this cute and rather unique looking shield protects the holder from having its ability changed by others. Okay, that's cool. I think I'm gonna go with the Sharp Beak. I'll buy one of these. And having the Sharp Beak on Quaxley would probably make the difference between either being able to KO or being able, or bringing a Pokemon into the red. Ah, these fuckers. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. She has an Eevee backpack. I did not know this about her. I know, I know this character. I did not know she had an Eevee backpack. Holy shit, I want one. Help her out or walk away? Hell no, I'm not walking away. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright, it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? No, <laughs> I do, but I feel like they'll get pissed if I say that. Ugh, another ignorant little nobody. Here, here I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. All right, bring it on. School bullies. Challenged by Team Star Grunt. Shrewdle, I still don't know what you are. Oh, I can actually see it now. It's a poison type. Ah, oh, sorry, it's got this. That would be an Oko. Well done, Saria, but I'm probably gonna need to swap you out immediately after this. Or, okay, don't, they only have one Pokemon. Never mind. Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you ever, you'll ever need with me. Ah. It's not really what happened. It was those Team Star punks. I bet you were trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We weren't not doing that. <laughs> well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Aw, oh, hell. Got the Terra Orb. Now we can terastalize. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn to use it faster in battle than if I just explained it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with this Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem. You want to battle me instead? <laughs> Never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places and battle. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of the hats, but you know what? I'll always accept more power. We get to beat up Donald Trump, just like everyone in the entire world wants to do. This music is sick. Okay, so my Ralta be fairy type, or my Ralta be fairy type upon Terastalizing, rather. So, I'm gonna use Disarming voice. All right, Saria. Let's see what you've got.
Yeah, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the hats, but... Kick this thing's ass. Okay, that's half. Use tackle. Ooh. Okay, uh, sorry it's faster, so this is a win. This music is sick! Um... <laughs> kind of looks like the one that I just kicked the ass of is actually cheering for me. Your Pokemon burns so bright. Give me that money. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hostel La Vista! Uh, me too. Hostel... Okay, they just... <laughs> yeah. I get it. Hostel La Vista instead of... Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, they're they're doing the they're doing the thing. <laughs> okay, I uh, I just well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. She's so adorable. What are you? Oh, Rockruff's in the game. Ooh, I could get a like in Rock maybe. That'd be cool. Ooh, that is a big library. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Jeez, I wonder why. Master Shining, Miss Nimona. How did you find your first school commute? It was a blast, it was tough. I'm gonna say it was tough. Nimona almost kicked my ass. Oh dear, was it really? I suppose Miss Nimona must have led you on quite the adventure. Uh, yeah, I'll say. I know how to look after my friends, right, Shining? Um... I feel like if, I feel like if I don't just shut up and nod, she's going to murder somebody. <laughs> oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those ki Team Star kids in town, Director. We did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. It's quite the news. Are they still to be found there? <clears throat> Actually, Shining flexed, <laughs> Shining flexed on him and ran him off. <laughs> A child with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class at least. Ah, and Miss Nimona? If you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such goings on. You got it, sir. Oh. Ah, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. Uh... Not exactly loving how... How, like, five-framed the, uh... The animations are. That's not a stream glitch, by the way. That's actually how the game is going right now. Alright, you can come in. Hello! Look into my eyes. See the face of that which will drag you down to the depths of hell. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like collecting, I like battling, I like playing with my Pokemon, I like everything about Pokemon. Um, I like my Pokemon not dying, <laughs> so that's important. Me, I have a question. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Shining. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to complete the Pokedex, I want to be a strong trainer, I actually don't know. I'd say I want to be a strong trainer because if I'm strong, then my Pokemon won't die. We see Nimona a lot. I, I think I want to go to the cafeteria. Let's talk to Arvin. Oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, I met you. Yeah, exactly. That's my little... That's my little know-it-all, buddy. You got a mind like a steel trap, eh? You're acting a lot nicer to me than before, man. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Uh, what's this dream first? <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. Great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. 
Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell ya. I found this book the other day. It had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, they're some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there's a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I've heard. Just taking a little, just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, and it'll even boost the immune system. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning it's going to be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. To see, Titans are, well, I think they've got to be things like this. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon, though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. Uh, okay, this just got a little, uh, this just got a little interesting. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I notice a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawnfan, yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. <clears throat> I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand, either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council. But here you waltz up. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Uh, sure, we'll help you out. That sounds interesting. That Area Zero shit... That Area Zero shit's got my attention. Nope, wait. Don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. The Titans layers have been added to your map app. The Path of Legends. <laughs> This is Shining, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, what? What the hell? What do you mean hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. Not a good first impression hacking my goddamn phone. You know about Team Star, correct? Star, right? Uh, I've heard the name. Yeah. Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. Interesting, interesting, sure. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Okay, so we got someone hacking my phone. Ah, Master Shining. Please, do try and keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there's so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young man. Bye. Hmm. Team Star, you say? Hmm. The artichoke thickens! The, is the the other storyline that I was talking about. Apparently you can do all of these at the same time. So that's good. Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Shining, hey! She looked awesome! <laughs> good eye, she sure is. That lady is... Well, they call her La... La Primera. She's strong, she can do pretty uh, and she can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. 
Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Sure. And to do that, you have to be more you have to do more than just take classes here. You have to take on eight Pokemon gems and win so you can collect their gem badges. Once you've done that, all that's left is a special test, the champion assessment. Anyway, I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Is that Psychic or Fairy? I think that's Psychic. So, there we go. That's all of the stories. Very nice. Ding dong dong ding! Calling Master Shining to the director's office, please. Uh-oh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What's up, Henry? What you got for me? Now, you must... Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. Seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. What now? Pardon? Ah, uh, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ow, okay. I was wondering when we were going to meet you. Hello, Shining. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea, at a site known as Area Zero. So that's Area Zero, that area in the middle there. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Shining, student ID number 805C393. I can't believe I actually said that right the first time. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Coridon. Is that correct? Uh, well, I mean, it was Arvin, but now it's me. Thank you. I appreciate that you were honest in confirming the facts. Ah, not that I... I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? Hey, Coridon. Adia. <clears throat> oh, how good to see that you are well. It's been quite—it's been quite a while since we last met. Yes. This is what I would would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Coridon on my behalf? Well, yeah. Are you just gonna drop a freaking legendary in my lap like that? I'll absolutely take that. Coridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. Aww. It can, however, take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Until then! Bye, cave lady! Adios! Could this Pokémon have its origins within Area Zero? Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. What? Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a little bit ominous there, Clovel. Oh, you're still here, Shining? Ugh. Getting called into the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the, in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Shining. Let's go check it out. I mean, I normally I, I normally don't invite a girl to my room the first day on the first day, but you know, uh, you know, if you, if you're down, Nimona. <laughs> From today on, this is your room, Shining. It's actually a pretty nice room. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. <laughs> Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out from all the stuff happening on your first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. So I could definitely see them being able to do something like that in the manga. But it seems like there's like different levels of like how deep they're willing to go in like the various different media. 
Spinoff game cannon should be able to tread into- Oh wait, the last day arrived for your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Shit, I never even took my classes. I hope I'll still be able to do it. I'll probably go through this, like all this opening stuff, and then I'll probably end off for today. I'm going to be playing this game again tomorrow, absolutely, but yeah. Seems everyone is here. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. <clears throat> As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. We've all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But you've all learned much. But now, it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokémon that live here. And get to know the people, too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokémon partners will be there to help you. Your you will journey together, learn new things together, and share other each other's thoughts and feelings, and find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study when you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward!